allegiance. Presentations. Well, hi, I'm Joe the janitor, and welcome to my show. And I've got the keys for success at school and in life. I like to stop by every once in a while on classes when the kids are presenting book reports or projects. In fact, I like to speak to classes at our school about what I'm learning too. I've spoken to classes about the history of the sticky note, how to play badminton like a champion and the ramifications of the American Revolutionary War on modern American politics. <laughs> I definitely have some keys to giving presentations and being a good audience. The person speaking to the class needs to be confident, believe you'll do well, speak clearly and slowly, project, make sure your audience can hear you, be expressive, articulate, use inflection to keep the attention of your audience, make eye contact with the audience. It helps you connect with them. Don't make apologies before you speak. Do not mumble and do not stare at the ground or your paper. The audience needs to give respect. They can show respect by doing the following. Sit up. It helps you pay attention and it shows respect. Be still and quiet. It's very rude to talk during a presentation. Look at the speaker and listen. Do not laugh at mistakes and do not slouch or stare at the floor. Let's see here. Our Ask Joe email comes from... Jenny in Louisiana. Joe, every time I speak in front of my class, I get really nervous. I hate it when people laugh. Well, Jenna, first of all, sounds like your class needs to follow my keys for being a good audience. They should never laugh. Your teacher can get their attention before you present and go over the keys to being a good audience. I think you need to make sure you're confident. Don't worry about what you think the other kids are thinking. Focus on presenting well. Stand tall and speak up. That's it for this show. Thanks for listening to me. Take care of yourselves and take care of your school. Have a wonderful... Oh, oh we have an announcement. Oh, so uh, y'all will be getting five wishes like for kids. And uh, they want you to donate money and come and bring it to your advisory teacher. And the money that you bring will be going towards the wishes and people will go out and buy the wishes, the toys of the wishes for kids in like foster care. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and be kind to your neighbors.